Hi, I'm Travis, and this is the Boldly Tech Show, where we make Alexa and smart homes simple. Alexa, what's today's show about? Today we are going to learn how to link Amazon Music Unlimited or your favorite streaming music service on your Alexa devices. Alexa, did you miss something? Sorry, Travis, we are also going to teach you how to set up groups for your Alexa speakers. Hi there, if you're new to the show or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that now because we provide tips, reviews, tutorials, and education on everything to do with Alexa and smart home devices. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also in this video or in the comments below, there may contain some affiliate links. So if you click on those links and you buy something, then I'm gonna get a commission. As Alexa mentioned earlier in this show, I'm gonna share a couple things with you today. One, I'm gonna share with you how to link Amazon Music Unlimited to your devices or your favorite music streaming service. Two, I'm gonna share with you why I like Amazon Music so much. And then finally, I'm gonna share with you how to create groups so you can listen and control your music on multiple devices all at once. If you're anything like my family, one of your favorite features about Alexa is you're able to play music on different devices. Heck, even my toddler plays his favorite songs. Hey, don't judge my parenting based on the music he likes. Anyways, one of the things that I do love about the ability to play music on Amazon is they don't limit you to only using Amazon Music Unlimited. There's a number of different streaming services that you can use to play music on. And those include, I'm gonna read them off here, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, uh, Deezer, never heard of it, Tidal, Amazon Music, obviously, Tune in, Audacity, Sirius XM, and iHeartRadio. So you can use all of those devices if you subscribe to them through Amazon Alexa. Now I'm going to share with you how you can link those up. Uh, you're just going to have to get on your Amazon app and follow me along. Linking Amazon Music Unlimited or your favorite music service is super easy. First thing you're going to do is obviously open up the Amazon Alexa app. Then you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner where it says more. Click that and then you're gonna to go to settings. And obviously there's a number of different settings, but what we're looking for is music and podcasts. And these are some of the services that I have. So if you wanna add a new service or link a new service to something that you're already a member of, you wanna click the, the plus button. Then you wanna find this service that you wanna add. So let's say I wanna add say Spotify. Then I would have to enable to use. And then for each of the different services, you can link your account. And I actually don't have a Spotify account, so I'm just going to click out of that. But then your skill would be enabled or your service would be enabled on your devices. Once you link your services, you want to go up to where it says default services. And then you want to set your default music for what you want Alexa to play Oops. when you say, you know, her name and play music. You also want to set your defaults for when you say, you know, play a certain station. So I could change this right now to iHeartRadio or SiriusXM because those are the services I subscribe to. And then down here, you also have podcasts. So you can use Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or whatever you would like. And that's it. Set those up and you're ready to rock and roll, no pun intended. Once you get your streaming service hooked up, try one of my favorite commands like Alexa play top hits, or Alexa play country music, or Alexa play hits from the 2000s. Or if you create a playlist, name your playlist like Travis's playlist. Well, don't name it Travis unless your, your name's Travis. That'd be a little weird. But um, play Travis's playlist. And I think you're really going to like some of these commands and you're really going to like the streaming service. Now that you know how to set up your favorite streaming music service to your Alexa devices, let me share with you why we love, my family loves Amazon Music Unlimited. Honestly, the only reason we started using Amazon Music Unlimited is because I got a free trial for 99 cents for like three months or something, and then I forgot to cancel the subscription. But my family grew to love the service. Now, although we do pay $14.99 a month 
for Amazon Music Unlimited, let me share with you some of the reasons that we really, really enjoy the service. We can play different music on our devices throughout the house. We can play music on our phones. We can use this service uh, for up to about six accounts. There's no ads. We can choose from up to 60 million songs to listen to. We can download songs on our phones to listen to them offline. Each person in the family can create a playlist and I can listen to my podcasts. Although we pay $14.99 for the Amazon Music Unlimited family plan, you can also just subscribe to the $7.99 individual plan if you're already a Prime member. Now, if you don't wanna pay, if you want something free, if you're already an Amazon Prime member, then you already have access to Amazon Prime Music, which gives you access to about 2 million songs. Now that you have your favorite streaming music service hooked up through your devices, one thing that you may want to think about is let's say you have a party and you have devices in your kitchen, like where I'm at now, maybe your family room, or maybe you have them in your dining room and you want to play music throughout the whole house to entertain your guests. Well, that's easy because we can set that up using groups. Let's get to the Amazon app and I'll show you how to set that up. To play music on several different devices at once is pretty simple and it can all be voice activated. The first thing you're going to need to do is just open up your Amazon Alexa app. Once that's open, you're going to want to go down to devices. And then the right hand corner, the top right hand corner, there's a plus sign. So you're going to hit plus and you can add a device, you can add a group or you can combine speakers. So the simplest way to do this is just combine speakers. And then you'll see you have multi music rooms. You can also use your devices as home theater speakers. Uh, you can pair them with subwoofers. But what we're going to do is just do a multi music room. And now what the dev what the app will do is just search for all your devices. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to kitchen. I'm going to add that to the, the, the group here. I'm going to add office and empty is one we have in, in the family room. So I do need to, uh, to rename that at some point, click next, and then you can choose a name. So use, a na use this name to play music on your selected speakers, just say, and play music on party time. So, you know, one of the things that I've found is it's a lot easier to create a name that you're going to remember. So I don't really want to name the speakers on my first floor party time or game night because I'm not going to remember that. There's enough for me to remember. I've got four kids, a full-time job trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing. So what I'm going to do is just name this uh, first floor. And I can't spell first floor and hit done and then save. So first floor was created. So now if I go down through all these groups, I have speaker groups. So I could play music everywhere or I could play music on the first floor. So now let me show you how this works when you're actually using your devices. You just set up your streaming service and I showed you how to create groups on your Alexa app. Now I wanna share with you some of my favorite commands when I'm using the groups to play music. Alexa, play top hits on the first floor. Here's a popular station, today's hits on Amazon Music. And now music's playing on all those devices. You can also control the volume. Alexa, Turn the volume down to two on the first floor. And you can also turn the music off. Alexa, turn the music off on the first floor. And those are some of my favorite commands that I use when I'm using groups. I, I think it's simple, but it's powerful, and I love it when we're having people over. I think we can all agree that Alexa Plus music makes life a little bit better especially since most of us are still working from home quite a bit. And hopefully these tips today help you enjoy music on your Alexa devices as much as my family does. If you learned something today or you enjoy the show, make sure you take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave me a note in the comments telling me what your favorite music streaming service is. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week with another episode.